Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Now in this movie we are going to see how we can apply our textures and start the process of uh, camera mapping. Well this is uh, my last uh, scene where I have my three different objects. All right, And now I'm going to make visible only my can for now. I want you to see what I have, what I have inside this can. Well the first thing is that I create a box. Okay, I created a box so that's what I have and I, I make the mistake of uh, moving and tweaking the parameters here at the object level. So as you can see here in my transform options I tweak this parameter so I shouldn't have done that but uh, I'm sorry. So I have this uh, deformation in my handle and um, then after that I have uh, I'm, I create another transform node and uh, with this one I try to match the geometry of my object. And You can see that I almost uh, done it but uh, it is not correct so after that I tweak my mesh with an edit node and all that is is uh, just uh, selecting points right like that you can select the points and try to match that uh, in a better way so uh, this is not a good thing to do yeah, and not always is gonna work but in this case because it's just a simple scene and it's just a simple piece of geometry and we are not going to turn all around this object because we have obviously the wall here so it doesn't matter we it's gonna give us a, a, a it's gonna work for this project and this uh, demonstration so uh, remember always to when you are working for production obviously you need to uh, take uh, your time and try to to match and place the points where they should be and even you can create uh, a little um, more detail here in in the object, all these uh, shapes of the the can, and all this uh, this other portion, the cap of this uh, can, and so on. All right. Well, after that, what I have here is a texture node, and you can see that uh, the texture node. Well, one thing is that I'm gonna press D again here to call my display in order to call my display options, and I'm gonna remove the display background images. Okay, I don't need them anymore. So what I have here is the texture uh, UV texture node and you can call that from this shelf okay UV texture or obviously you can press tab here and you can go and press UV and you're gonna call all the different sets of uh, different options of UVs alright so we have the UV texture this one remember when we talk about the textures before uh, with this option what we can do here is go to our texture type and we can select perspective from camera okay perspective from camera now with this perspective from camera option you have the ability of uh, project textures with your camera now we need to tell Houdini which camera we want to use in this case is camera object uh, camera one and you can press this option here and you have the ability to choose the operator that you want to use and I believe we have camera one only we can click accept and that's gonna do the trick right now like I told you imagine that this is not a can we can have a, an image here for example uh, with the city of New York with a lot of different uh, buildings and or Toronto or Mexico City or Tokyo I mean different uh, with one image you can project a lot of different objects into these simple pieces of geometry. Okay, in this case, we are doing this uh, can, but we we can put a little more of detail in our image and in our geometry. We can create pretty and uh, really cool things. Well, for now, let's go and let's move here and into our texture. We have texture and everything is set up. Well, we have to do the same thing in our three different objects. For example, in our floor. We need to go here and add the same kind of uh, texture option. All right. After we have that, what we want to do is go to our material palette, and uh, we are not going to use our uh, ice cube anymore. What we want to do is create another material. In this case, it could be a constant material. Okay. And for example, if you apply this constant material to this object, you can see that you have a constant shader in here right and you don't have uh, any kind of shadows or anything so for example I'm gonna remove uh, and select just smooth shaded so you can see that uh, and I'm gonna hide my grid 
you can see that you don't have any kind of uh, reference of uh, depth right even if for example if I go and select the material and apply this constant material to this object and if we make this other one the wall visible and we apply this material to this one you can see that there's nothing there's not reference of uh, what I'm, what are we doing now okay and if we select this you we, we're gonna have some kind of reference now one thing to keep in mind is that you can see that I create just this plane here in the background okay this wall is just one piece but same thing if you want to create a better result you can create the, the portion here of the the elevators okay this section and you can push this to and uh, with an extrusion here and create this kind of uh, that portion that we have here in the elevators okay I didn't do that uh, I didn't done uh, I haven't done that because the, the time that we have for these tutorials and um, but it's something really simple to do so just keep in mind well we have this shader okay so what we can do now with the shader is for example go here to the opacity map or the excuse me the color map in the options of this material and we can call the original image that we are using and now because this material is applied to these three different options you can see that if we remove uh, and we go back to our smooth shaded you can see the, that the image is gonna appear right there and um, what we need to do here in order to see this uh, image as our original we go to the color here and at the, to this uh, oops to this region here in the tint with the point color and change that to white and you can see how everything is brighter now alright we can select opacity map too if we want to but for now we're gonna leave everything as it is now you can see that we have our image right here and uh, well what I can do now is move into this image but you can see that uh, I don't have a lot of depth here right it looks like I am zooming in my image but when I go like that, you can see that we have some kind of reference of uh, 3D space, some depth going on there.